Hi, this is Aaron, Urban Hillbilly, coming at you from the RDA, that's the River Department of Agriculture, for another snake peek. Today we started our terraponics project. We're upgrading from normal aquaponics with floating rafts and coconut cores uh, to a half a 55 gallon drum. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the center blocks on the bottom of these to support our, our, uh, support our weight. It's going to allow for water flow through the bottom of the barrels. Uh, on top of the concrete, we put a layer of storm spray, then uh, sand, and then a layer of compost. I want to plant, plant directly into the compost. And what this is going to allow it to do is we're going to be water uh, wicking up from the bottom, which is our, uh, which is our fish water, which is full of nitrogen. So our plants will constantly be getting water. They're constantly be getting fertilized. Um, so we're going to uh, plant directly in that. And as you can see, the product with our uh, banana trees here, those banana trees are six months old and they're eight foot tall. So uh, we're hoping to have the same success with our vegetables and allow us to be able to grow through the summer here in Florida. Um, but uh, y'all just stay tuned. I'll be back in just a, just a second here uh, with the next step. And we're going to uh, give you a, a rundown, play by play, of uh, what to do to set up your terracotta. Um, uh, as you can see, uh, let's take a shot of this here. Basically, we've got all the holes drilled in our barrels here. We've got the cinder blocks set, set down inside. <clears throat> and then what we're going to do to fill the gaps around the side of it is just take, a, take another cinder block. And you, you can pretty much break them like that. And then you'll take these and you fit them in around the sides here. And then go in that one. It'll go in one of them. Just come around and fill in around, and this is good. These are going to support your uh, storm screen that you're going to be putting uh, putting across the top of this. <clears throat> we also have a, a storm screen you and that you'll fit down on top of this, and that's going to cradle your sand as you fill fill these things up. So you get your two center blocks into your bottom of your barrel. Then you'll take then you take another extra cinder block and start kind of putting it in around here. And like I said, this is for support for your storm screen. So when you put it in there so it doesn't fall down in. <coughs> so as you can see we got another 47 of these to do. So we'll get that done and we'll come back with part three. Alright, so as you can see Mr. Cornelius here is measuring out our storm screen. And he's cutting us 24 by 24 inch squares out. And then what we're doing with those is we're taking them, we're bringing them right here, and laying right right across the right across the top of the brick, laying them laying them out nice and even, so that uh so that our sand, when you put it in there, put it in about an inch and a half, two inches deep. And you can see our our storm screen is what. Holding our uh, holding our sand up, keeping it from falling through the brick. So, so step one, drill the holes in your barrel. Step two, put your cinder block in there like this as a supporting structure, and lay your storm screen over top of it. Then put your sand in, and then the next step after that is going to be to put uh, your compost or topsoil on top of that. And uh, I wish you could see how wet this, uh, you, you might can see how wet this already is. It's going to be wicking up water from the bottom. It's going to constantly be uh, watering our plants as, as we put them in. So we'll finish this. We'll come back when we are loading up our compost and putting our plants in. Hey everybody, this is Aaron Urban Hubbilly coming at you with step four of our Terrapunk project. And I just want to kind of give you a look here. We've got everything filled in with our, with our compost here. And now we're going to start planting today. We're just going to take these little guys out here. We're just going to make them a nice little happy home right here in our compost. Pop these little babies out just like this. We're just going to give him a nice little happy spot right there. 
the nice little happy spot right there. See how see how wet this is? All this water is gonna be wicked up from our from our raceways here, and that's full of the, full of water from our um, from our fish pools where we keep our tilapia. See, um, and the fish urine becomes uh, comes out as ammonia, and then it's converted by our biological filtration um, into nitrites and then into nitrates, which is nitrogen which is what uh, fertilizes our plants. So our plants will constantly be getting fertilized. Um, they'll constantly be getting water. So we have a best case scenario for our plants survivability. They got everything they need. They get nitrogen. Okay, now we have cinder blocks under here, which are gonna be leaching out calcium from the lime, from the concrete mix. So they're getting the calcium, they're getting nitrogen, they're getting phosphorus, they're getting everything they could possibly need. So this is basically going to be a super growth system should everything work the way I think it should. Everything sounds good on paper until you put it in action. We'll see what happens. So, uh, so this is our Terraplanics program here. Uh, I think it's pretty groundbreaking. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And we'll see you next time. Another sneak peek.